Hey guys, Calipug on Bushcraft here. Uh, I got a video question from my good friend Art uh, asking on uh, clothing. Uh, what I do for uh, summer and winter uh, in the bush. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna start. We're gonna go from summer um, to like fall, spring style, all the way into winter in the back. So uh, this probably be a two part video. If not, it might be one. I'm not really sure. But uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is pretty basic uh, stuff I do for the summer. Um, I try and wear uh, light um, polyester a lot for out in the bush. But most of the time, if it's not wet out, I'll use cotton just because it wicks uh, moisture or uh, heat away from your body extremely well. If it's really hot, I'll put on like uh, an Under Armour type shirt to help with that. But for the most part, I just stick with uh, cotton in the summer as long as it's not too wet. Uh, socks. I I wear boots most of the year for out in the bush, and these are uh, light summer weight hiking socks, which is what I wear. Uh, pants. Depending on the heat, I will either wear shorts or these are a light pair of, uh, these are actually convertibles, but I'll wear a light pair of pants. Or if it's not too, too hot, I will opt for my more preferred choice, which is a pair of uh, like BDU or BDU style uh, long pants. Um, with uh, like underwear and stuff, um, I normally try and if I'm doing it overnight, I bring cotton for the night because cotton uh, is better to sleep in. And uh, although polyester is better for um, during the daytime when you're working because it wicks moisture away from you, uh, at night it uh, inhibits or encourages fungus growth. So I normally switch to cotton at night, but uh, moving on further into like f a fall or spring type situation, I'll keep with the long pants, uh, wear uh, often uh, longer style shirts, or a very lightweight um, base layer, or even if it's not that that bad, I'll go with uh, just you know my signature wool sweater here, or a like polyester style sweatshirt. But for the most part, it'll just be you know in early fall when it's still kind of warm out. I'll go with a long sleeve style polyester shirt, even cotton sometimes. Uh, that's pretty. In the spring, I tend to wear more um, winter-based stuff because you're just coming out of winter and we have seven months of winter here. But uh, in the winter, for uh, starting off with base layer, uh, long johns with, depending on the... Um, how cold it is, I'll go with either a light base layer, medium base layer, or a super heavy, like extra lined layer for, for base. Um, on top of that, I will normally wear either, depending on how deep the snow is, either um, just regular pants with uh, gaiters, or I'll actually put some like snow style pants on, more waterproof. Uh, for outer outer layers, you know, I've got my signature wool sweater that I wear in most of my videos. 
uh, wool shirts, sometimes something I opt to wear. Um, it's, a, it's a cotton shirt, but normally if it's uh, dry powder, I'll go for something like this. Um, for outer outer layers, uh, this is a more heavy uh, German Army surplus uh, heavy jacket. It's a mix of cotton and something else, polyester, I think. Yeah, it's 80 cotton, 20 polyester. So when it's dry powder out, I'm not too worried. I'll go with cotton like this as long as I know what I'm um, going to be up against. If it's super cold, I'll go with this. This is a uh, Surplus Marines wool overcoat. Nothing as warm as warm can be. And if it's real wet powder, I will throw on uh, like a, a rain jacket or a real waterproof lightweight shell. For socks in the winter, I go with a heavier style wool sock. Or if I'm wearing a tighter fitting boot, I will wear... Uh, these are thinner liner socks. I use these off when I'm uh, alpine skiing. Uh, but when I wear a tighter fitting boot, I wear these. If I'm wearing my normal bush boots, I'll wear these. If it's super cold, I'll put these on with those over it. But normally, um, when it's that cold, I don't go up. These are normally good for me up to minus like 25, and I'm fine. Uh, hats or head and head and uh, hands. I have my Mad Bomber, which is also I guess a signature item for me. Uh, my Shimug and my big old U.S. Army surplus Arctic uh, mitts, which. I will sometimes wear these with them. These are uh, given to me by a friend. They're uh, like hand warmers, and I'll wear these underneath them. So I've, my hands have never been cold in these, but when I take them out to do stuff, I like to have mobility in my fingers. And uh, the other gloves, the flat back gloves, the ones that have the mittens on top or two, uh, you can't fit them in here. And if you wear them alone, my hands get cold with them. But I'll wear these. are some half gloves. And I'll wear those if it gets super cold. But that's only like minus 30 when I normally put those on. But, I mean, that's basically what I what I use. I'm not too, too, too into it. You know, I wear cotton cotton uh, polyester mixed pants when I'm out there most of the year. I know I, I don't go that far in but I need um, you know I need full polyester. Um, I know cotton they say is the, the death the death fabric but I never I'm comfortable enough in my abilities um, out in the woods to keep myself dry, you know, make sure I stay dry. If not, you know, worst comes to worst, you know, I can track it on, you know, back to back to base camp. Um, but I mean, for the most part, that's that's really what I wear. Uh, my preferred in the winter is. Probably. Uh, preferred clothing for a normal day. Uh, long johns and a middleweight um, base layer. Uh, heavy wool socks. Uh, my hand warmers or half gloves. The mitts, my hat, my wool sweater, and just a pair of
cotton poly blend from BDU's with my winter boots with gaiters on. That's really what I my favorite thing to carry or to wear out in the out in the bushes. I mean, I don't get too too into it. I'm not a huge clothing junkie. Um, like I said, I, I prepare for what the snow conditions are. Um, you know, in the summer it's not too bad. You know, if you don't wear the right thing, you know, it's pretty warm out. It's not too too bad. Not saying that you can't get into trouble in the summer with hypothermia or hyperthermia, but in the winter. I feel it's clothing is much more um what's what I'm looking for? Important, I guess. <laughs> more um something you should put more thought into than in the summer. Um and especially up here where we get can we get oh we get temperatures anywhere from like zero Celsius to minus forty Celsius in the winter normally stays at like minus 12 celsius which is like op optimum temperature for me but you know it's I don't get too too into it I like I like to be prepared but I don't go full full out I'm confident enough in my skills that this is comfortable for me and what I use um, you know what you have might be different but that's basically what I wear in the uh, in the bush for Pretty much most of the year, you know, give or take, I might have a hat or something in the summer, but for the most part, that's what I wear. So, uh, that's my video. Thanks for watching. See you in the woods.